Hello, my name is Chris. For today, I'm going to show you how to install Bookstack on Proxmox uh, using Ubuntu. So, I'll walk you through step by step on how to do it. And this video was requested by a viewer. So, um, thank you for the video suggestion. And if y'all have any, uh, uh, feel free to comment or join our Big Bear community in our Discord. So, uh, a little bit about this series. I'm going over Home Labs. So I'm going to install things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So I'm going to start out on the Big Bear Video Assets, and a bit, there will be a link down in the description so you can get to it. I'm going to go over to how to install Bookstack on Proxmox. Then I'm going to go to install Ubuntu right here. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm gonna go over to my Proxmox and I'm gonna get Ubuntu installed. So I'm over on my Proxmox now. And then, so now I went in my node, I went in the shell, and then I'm gonna paste in the command of installing Ubuntu that I just copied. So I'm going to press return or enter. I'm gonna press return or enter, return or enter. Then I'm gonna say advanced. Okay, return or enter. Okay, now I'm going to uh, hit the space bar. I'm gonna uh, I put, I put one down with the arrow button and then I'm gonna hit the space bar to toggle it. Then I'm gonna hit return or enter. Then I'm gonna do the space bar again on the 2204, the jammy. Then re return or enter. I'm gonna say it's unprivileged and I'm not gonna give it a root password. I'm going to change the ID to 700. I'm going to change the host name to Bookstack. Then I'm going to give it 20 gigabytes of disk space. I'm going to give it two cores. I'm going to give it uh, three. So now I'm going to press return or enter th through these. And I'm not going to enable a verbose mode, but you can if you have a installation that's not performing well or not installing correctly. You can just slide over and hit, hit return or enter on the yes. And then I'm going to say no. I'm going to say yes. And then it's going to install Ubuntu on an LXC. So it's starting up over here. This will take a little bit on getting it installed. It's updating the software now. I would recommend if you are going to use this in, in a more production way, I would uh, recommend uh, not using DHCP and I allocating the static IP on your router. So now I'm so now it's completed successfully, and we have Ubuntu installed. So we can go over here to Bookstack, and we can see it's up. So now I'm going to start out on the Big Bear Video Assets again, and there will be a link down in the description. I'm going to go to how to install Bookstack on Proxmox Ubuntu right here. Then I'm going to go to down to install Bookstack right here. I'm going to copy this command. Then I'm going to go back over to my Proxmox, and I'm going to, into my LXC that I created. And then I'm going to go to console and paste this in and then run it. So now I'm going to go over to my LXC that I created, my Ubuntu installation, and it'll be called Bookstack if you change the host name yourself. So I'm going to go into there. I'm going to go to console. Then I'm going to paste it in inside the console. And I'm going to um, press return or enter. 
And then it's going to ask you uh, what what IP address you want, if you want a domain or an IP address. So I'm going to type in 192.168.1.118. So it'll put your local IP address that's on this LXC inside of the script right here. Then you just uh, type it in or paste it in, co copy and paste it, or type it in. So now I'm going to press return or enter. Installing using the domain or IP address. It's using the IP address. So now this will take a little bit to get it fully installed. It'll go through this, the nine steps. So I paused it and now it's done nine steps and installed everything. So your default login email is admin at admin.com. Then your default login password is password. You can access the book stack from these IP addresses. So I'm going to copy this. And then book stack install path is at var www book stack. And then install script log is at this path right here. So it keeps a log of what it done. So I'm going to go over to the IP address now. And then it's going to ask you for your e email and password, and that's admin at admin.com. And then your password is password. And you can say, remember me, log in. Okay, now we're in. So I would recommend you go into edit profile up here. You go to admin and edit profile. Then you can scroll down to user password. Then you uh, put a new password in. And then you press save. So... Once that's done, you can get to creating uh, your shelves, books, and different things like that. So I just showed you how to get Bookstack running on Proxmox with, with Ubuntu. So this made it to where you can document uh, things. You can have books, uh, shelves, different things like that. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And th thank you to Good Citizen for suggesting the video. And if you need support, or you uh, have video suggestions, you can go down to our Big Bear community and join our Discord. And stay tuned for more.